Hey guys, Vizerlo here. So, Nintendo has recently been hinting at their next console, and to be more specific, Shinya Takahashi, I probably butchered his name, from Nintendo, talked about how the next system is coming together. And what he said, he didn't reveal much, but all he said was that the, their next system is in the research and development phase. Like, it literally just began, they just started developing it. So, they, he hasn't really talked about what's going to be release date, name, nothing like that. So, we don't really have much to work off of. But in this video, I wanted to just talk about what I think Nintendo is going to make their next, next system. I wanted to talk about, not necessarily as an opinionated piece, but more of just what I think Nintendo is going to do in the more logical side of things. I did already make a video talking about what I want to see, like just what I personally would want to see out in Nintendo, and you can check out that video, I'll have like a little card in the corner for it. But basically in this video, I just wanted to use the information, the very small bits of information we have now, to talk about what Nintendo probably is going to do. So, I don't think that we're going to see a Nintendo Switch 2. We might see like a mid-cycle refresh of the Switch, but if we're going to see a any new hardware, it's not going to be a Switch 2. So, I think, in my opinion, I think we're just going to be throwing that out there. It doesn't really make sense for Nintendo to continue on with the Switch, and my reasoning is that Nintendo wants to stay as far away from the Wii U as possible, and something that Nintendo probably learned from that was that let's not just follow up on a console that is just made to, you know, bank on motion controls and have, be having, you know, having a tablet as a gamepad. So I think Nintendo is going to do everything in their power to just completely stay away from the Wii U because it undersold, like, dramatically. So Nintendo probably doesn't want to repeat their mistakes, and they're going to want to make sure that they are as far away from those mistakes as possible. So we don't think we're going to see a Nintendo Switch 2. What I do think we're going to see, though, is a follow-up to almost like the GameCube, the Nintendo 64, or maybe even the Super Nintendo. So, yes, I do know that Nintendo did release the NES and then the Super Nintendo, but those were consoles that were made to just be basic game consoles. They did add more on the controller side and hardware side of things, but the Wii and the Wii U is a completely different story because the Wii and the Wii U had were based on, you know, some would say gimmicks, some would say features, where you would have a tablet on the Wii U and motion controls on the Wii. So I think that it's a different case with that. Personally, what I think Nintendo is going to do is they're going to follow up with the SNES, the NES, by releasing almost like an ultra Nintendo Entertainment System, if that probably sounds completely ridiculous, but the Super Nintendo wasn't named, so you have to consider all different possibilities. And Nintendo made a console called the Wii U, so we can't really judge Nintendo based on their name. But basically, I think that what Nintendo is going to do is they're going to release the follow-up, or just like a very basic home console that's just made to play games, just like the Super Nintendo was and the NES was made to do. It's just made to be a console to bring people back to gaming. Now, you're probably confused at what I mean by bringing people back to gaming, because the gaming industry is not in a crash state like it was in 1983, so people, you know, they wouldn't really need to be brought back in. But what I think Nintendo wants to do is they want to bring back the people who really, really, really think that Nintendo is still just a kid company. That's what they, they've been pushing with the Nintendo Switch, and I think they're going to keep doing it with their next system. So... They're probably going to want to bring that audience back in. They may even want to attract other people who aren't gamers into it. Now, I'm not saying they're not going to pull a Wii. I'm just going to say they're going to try and pull people who usually don't want to play games into the Switch, maybe by using some different type of marketing methods that nobody's ever tried before. Now, specs. So, let's just talk about specs. I think that this new console is probably going to have better, more, better hardware than the Switch, and just basically compete with its competitors. So it's going to have, you know, power that will rival, rival the PS5 or whatever comes out next. The Xbox 2, even though I don't think that's what the next Xbox is going to be called. Just whatever Nintendo releases next, it's going to be made to compete with whatever else is made out there. Some people are going to say Nintendo's never been about that. Well, they have with the NES, SNES. Then you also got the GameCube, the Nintendo 64. And that's what Nintendo's usually trying to do. So I think that Nintendo's going to try to repeat that. Pricing. So I think that the new Nintendo console, whatever it's going to be called, 
is probably just going to be around, well, I guess it depends on the specs, but I would say it's going to be around the price of the Switch right now. And the reason for that is because Nintendo hasn't, from what I've told, from, like, they haven't really been about shooting for high prices. I know that there has been some exception to that, like with the Virtual Boy, where they priced it pretty high for what you were getting. But still, like, Nintendo hasn't really... Like, they they haven't really sold a $500 Xbox One X. They're not really that type of company. So I think the Nintendo's going to try to shoot for the 300 400 type of ballpark. Now, moving on past that, let's talk release date. This is something that's very controversial because there's so many different... Like, people will have their own opinions and there's going to be a lot of debates on what the, the next Nintendo console is going to have. Personally, I think it's going to come out around 2020. And the reason for that is because that would get, like, that's the earliest I would see Nintendo releasing it. Nintendo did say that they see the Switch going past the typical five years, but the only problem is that I feel like the hardware is going to limit that. I have a feeling soon the PS4 won't even be able to handle, like, it won't even be, be able to handle the new game. So, since, since the Nintendo Switch even, isn't even as powerful as the base Xbox One, I think that the Nintendo Switch will maybe get a good five or six years before the hardware will really, really become an issue for developers. So I think that we're probably going to see it around 20, 20, 21. If by some miracle the Switch does actually make it past that, then maybe we might see it in like 2023, 2024. But I have no idea. Adding on to that, a lot of people have been saying that the 8th generation of consoles is probably going to be the last generation because there hasn't really been much of an increase in graphics. And I do agree with that. Because when you look at consoles, it you can see like from the um, the PS1 to the PS2, there's a big leap there. PS2 to PS3, big leap. And then PS3 to PS4, not really a giant leap in graphics. There is a leap, but it's not compared... To, you can't compare it to the PS1 to PS2, PS2 to PS3, that whole thing. So I think that that might have something to do with it. But still, 9th generation, 10th generator, ninth, 10th generation, I need to get that right is probably still going to happen because, you know what, that's just how we measure when consoles come out, in my opinion. It's not necessarily on specs most of the time, but I have no idea. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comments. If you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And, again, I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.